Hi guys, I'm Lisa Kay. Welcome to my Pilates Circle workout for today. We're going to have a full body workout, but it will have a little bit of an extra focus on the legs. So we're going to start in a seated position, cross-legged. Now I'm on a cushion uh, because I find that more comfortable. Feel free to grab a cushion if that would be more comfortable for you as well. We're going to start off with a nice tall spine, lovely sense of width across the chest, and you're just going to place your circle just at the base of your ribcage here. Wrap your hands gently around the front, but keep that nice sense of width across your chest. Let's have a little bit of a focus on breathing before we move. So nice and gently breathing in through the nose. Think of expanding into the circle and out to the sides. And as you exhale, just gently, very gently, soften the ribs and press the circle. Do that again. Inhale into the circle and all around the rib cage. And exhale, soften the ribs, press the circle and very gently engage your deep abdominals. So think of a gentle lift of the pelvic muscles, gentle tightening of the lower tummy. Do that again. Inhale. And exhale. Gently lift and tighten. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Now from here, we're going to add some rotation. So take an inhale. As you exhale, rotate. Inhale, return. Let's go the other way. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, return. Staying nice and tall. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, return. Again. Inhale, return. Let's do two more each way. Keeping a nice, soft, fluffy neck. And only rotating as far as your body wants to go. Last one. Taking the circle just to your side, so it's just to the outside of your knee. We're going to do a little bit of a mermaid. So you're going to lift the opposite arm, press softly into the circle as you stretch over. Now keep your sit bones heavy on the mat or on the cushion. Inhale, lift up. Exhale down. Do that again. So reach up and think up and then over, pressing gently into your circle. Inhale and exhale. Again, inhale, exhale up and over, gentle press. Inhale and exhale. One more. Gentle press. Inhale and exhale. Let's do the same on the other side. So keeping that nice sense of height in your spine, width across your chest. You're going to reach up and press over. Keep both sit bones heavy. And again, inhale and exhale. There's kind of a tendency to lose your weight on that side, but try and keep it heavy. Inhale and exhale again two more on this side breathing in breathing out and one more okay now from there are you gonna lie down Okay, onto your back. Now, if you want to have a cushion behind your head, go for it. I don't need to have the cushion behind my head, so I'm going to remove it. Lying down onto your back. Ready for some ab curls. Now, you're going to make sure you're in a nice, comfortable, neutral position. So just find that comfortable midway position. Make sure you've got a little bit of space under your lower back, but the ribs are staying nice and restful. We're going to take the circle in between the knees. You're going to give it a gentle little squeeze, not a massive squeeze, just a gentle little squeeze, just enough to help you sort of engage and connect through your inner thighs. And we're going to take the hands behind the head for some ab curls. You're going to set the shoulders, keep the elbows fairly wide, but you're not trying to press them down to the mat. You're just finding that comfy position. Now from here, as you inhale, nod your chin slightly. On your exhale, curl, give that circle a little extra squeeze. Take an inhale and exhale down and release. Again, inhale, nod the chin. Exhale, curl, gentle squeeze. Inhale, hold, and exhale down. Again, exhale. Beautiful, now make sure you're staying neutral. You're not tucking under or doing anything weird. Inhale, and exhale down. Again, exhale. 
and also make sure you're not pulling on your head it's all about the abs to come up and down again so think of rolling your ribs down at the front to curl inhale and down. we're gonna add on to this so take an inhale to nod exhale curl and hold you're gonna reach your arms towards your circle curl up a fraction higher use your abs bring your hands back to your head and come down let's do that again inhale nod exhale curl little squeeze of the circle now reach curl deeper through your chest hands to head and all the way down again inhale exhale curl and squeeze and reach curl that little bit deeper hands to head and down two more inhale exhale curl gentle squeeze reach curl deeper use the abs not your neck hands to head and down again and reach curl deeper hands to head and down now we're going to come up one more time to get the circle so inhale exhale curl now reach to the circle take hold of your circle and coming down now you're going to curl up we're going to stay lifted for the hula so exhale you, as you curl up. Now keep your legs still and we're gonna take the circle from side to side. No movement from the lower body, just the upper body. And a little squeeze of your circle on each side. And let's go eight more each way. Seven, six, five, and four more gentle rotation of that upper body and two and one come back to center little squeezes of the circle for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and come all the way down from here you're going to turn around we're going to work the opposing muscles which will feel nice after all that ab work we've just done so we're going to go for some hovers and some swimming legs you're going to hold the circle just in front of your forehead you're going to have your legs as wide as the mat you're going to have a little bit of life in the glutes legs are reaching long abs are gently drawing in to support your lower back from here you're going to take a breath in as you exhale come up for a long low hover so bring the circle just off the mat with you legs are reaching long and low take an inhale and exhale down you're going to do that again so inhale exhale find that hover you can give the circle a gentle squeeze inhale and down again inhale exhale beautiful make sure the abs are gently drawing in to help support your lower back take an inhale exhale down again find that hover inhale and down all right this time we're going to add some swimming legs so making sure you're keeping a long neck take an inhale exhale come up to that long low hover hold it and we're going to swim the legs trying to keep the upper body still making sure you're not wobbling through your pelvis abs are gently drawing in legs are reaching long and we inhale two three four five and exhale two three four five again two three four five and exhale keep going inhale two three four five and exhale three more sets inhale two three four five and exhale two more sets inhale two three, four, five and exhale last set inhale two three, four five and exhale beautiful you're going to hold and reach 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 long and low long and low long and low and then come down okay from there coming up coming over releasing and relaxing your back just for a moment you're going to come up into a two-point kneeling position circle is going to come in front of you for a hinge now i want you to keep your body long and strong and straight glutes are switched on abs are zipped up we're going to take the circle above the head we're going to hinge it back so take an inhale to prepare now as you exhale with control hinge back bring the circle down give it a little squeeze 
and inhale as you come back up. And do that again, exhale. Now make sure you're keeping the body straight. You're not arching your back, abs are on. Inhale as you come back up. Again, exhale. Inhale. Two more like this. Inhale. Inhale. Now we're going to change the circle. You're going to hold on to the thin bits of the circle. We're going to pull as we hinge back. So take an inhale to prepare. As you exhale, hinge and pull. Inhale to return. Again, hinge and pull. Inhale to return. Make sure you keep your glutes on so that you're not hinging at your hips. Hinge and pull. And return. Again. And return. Two more. Return. One more. And return. Now from here, circles coming down. You're going to come into a seated position. So you could sit on your cushion again if you wanted to. I don't need it for these, but it's always good to have. You're going to stay in that seated position to start off with, keeping a nice, tall but comfortable spine. Circle in front of you, setting the shoulders gently, and you're going to press down. Gently release. Do that again. Press release and press release we're working the lats press release let's do four more like this then we're going to add a little bit more abs into it staying really tall as you press for now one more Now this time we're gonna add a curl. So I want you to think of using your abs to press the circle. So breathing in, set the shoulders. Exhale, curl and press. Inhale, return. Exhale, curl. So draw the ribs down at the front. Inhale, return. Now what you don't wanna do is slump, okay? So you're thinking up and forwards. And use the abs to press that circle down. That's your thought process. If you get this right, you should actually feel the abs a little bit. Let's do two more. Press and curl. And one more, press and curl. Beautiful, okay, now from here, you're going to take the circle in between your ankles. You're going to turn the legs out and come down onto your forearms, four froggies. So you're going to keep that turned out position. Keep a nice connection again through your abs and keep a long neck. Take a breath in as you exhale, press, squeeze the circle, point your toes. Inhale, come back to your frog. Exhale, press and squeeze. Inhale, find that frog. Exhale. Beautiful. Now make sure you're not going so low that you lose your abs, yeah? Keep a good connection through your abs. Keep strong with the upper body as we work the inner thighs. And we've got four more frogs. And three more. And go for two. And go for one. Beautiful, now from here, take the circle. I'm just gonna move forwards a little bit on my mat to the outside of your ankles. Hands are gonna go by behind the head. We're gonna curl, stretch, and press out against the circle. So exhale, curl, press out. Inhale, return. So working the opposing muscles, exhale. Inhale, return, again. And six more. Five. Lucky four. And three. Last two. Last one. And coming in. You're going to remove the circle. 
from the legs. Now, we're coming up. I'm gonna do a little bit of work for the back of the legs from the hamstrings, but also for the glutes. So from here, you're gonna put one foot onto the circle just to help to stabilize. The other foot is gonna go on top, so the heel is gonna go right on the top. You're in a seated position. Again, you could be on a cushion if that's more comfortable for you. This knee wants to be bent for your start position. Now from here, we're focusing on this top leg. You're gonna press and squeeze the circle down, so you're bending your knee a little bit more and release. So we're working the hamstring muscles and pressing down and release again. Release and press, release. We've got six more. So this is nice because it's kind of focusing on those lower fibers of the hamstrings. We don't do a whole heap of work for those, but they are worth, well worth working. Four more. And three. Two. Last one. Beautiful. Now from here, you're gonna straighten up that top leg. So this time we're gonna focus a little bit more on all the muscles of the leg, right up to the top. So glutes will be working as well. Again, stay strong and press down with the whole leg. Beautiful, try and feel that the movement is coming from the base, from your glutes, rather than coming from behind your knee. If you need to very slightly bend your knee so that you're not feeling it all behind your knee, then go for that. But take your mind to your bum. If you think about a muscle, it helps it to work. And let's go six more. And five. Stay strong with your upper body as well. Strong and lifted. And two more. And last one. Okay, swapping legs. So we're coming in for the hamstrings first. Heel on top, knee is bent, and we're pressing down, bending the knee, releasing with control. Press, release. Now the circle by its very nature is quite bouncy. So try and control that bounce, which is easier said than done. You can see I'm struggling on this leg, actually more than I did on the other leg and return, and press, and return. And let's go six more, and five, and four, bending the knee, and three, two more. Last one. Okay, then we're going for the long leg. So you're sitting back a little bit further and you're thinking of that movement coming from the base of your hip and you're pressing down. And release. Now you can have your foot flexed, foot slightly pointed, whatever works best for you for these. I like to flex the foot because it does help me a little bit more to connect with the back of the leg. And let's go six more. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Okay, from here, you're gonna come onto your side and you're gonna place both feet inside the circle so it's just above your ankle bone all the way down. Again, you could have a cushion under your head if that's more comfortable for you. Kneecaps ideally are pointing forwards for this one. Toes are pointing forwards. We're focusing on the muscles to start off with on the outside of the leg. So from here, take a breath in. As you exhale, squeeze up against the circle. Now you want, there's not a lot of movement. It's much more about activating the leg and then release with control. Exhale, squeeze up. Inhale, release. The bottom leg has to work as well to keep the circle stable. Inhale, return. Again, press and return. 
exhale press inhale release slightly exhale press inhale release let's do a couple more and then we're going to press and hold and release again press and release this time you're going to press and hold so press and hold and just keep breathing normally for a count of 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 now you're going to unloop that foot take it on top it's going to want to float up <laughs> but you're going to bring it down onto the circle inner thighs this time as you exhale you're going to press down with control inhale release exhale press inhale release and press now again you can have your foot flexed for these or softly pointed whichever you prefer i quite like to point for these and press release press release four more three keeping the hips nicely stacked if you can and one beautiful now from here you're going to float that top on foot on top we're going to do a little semicircle forwards and semicircle back and bring it forwards and back just tapping the floor nice and lightly now you probably find you have to move your upper body slightly for this and don't be surprised if you do lose the circle but try and keep that bottom leg connected to it and forwards and back and forwards and back and we've got four more and tap and three more and tap and two more and last one beautiful bring that top on foot on top to finish reach 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 and then lower the leg down okay swapping sides same thing so we're going to start off with both feet going inside the circle okay just above the ankle bones make sure it feels comfortable knees pointing forwards and make sure the hips are stacked everything feels comfortable take a breath in exhale press up gently release press release again Six more before the hold. Six. Five. Four. Last three. Working the outer thighs. Two. And this time you're gonna press and hold. Keep breathing and holding for a count of 10. Nine, eight, seven, six five four three keep pressing two one and then you're going to unloop that leg take it on top and we're bringing it down and you're going to exhale as you press inhale return exhale inner thighs working this time and just double check that you're keeping your shoulders and your neck fairly relaxed it's easy to tense things up <laughs> that you're not supposed to tense up and we've got six more of the inner thighs nice and controlled if you can and two more one more and then from here you're going to float that foot on top and we're going to semicircle forwards and back and forwards and back keep that going nice and smooth with the action and you can allow your upper body to move slightly so that you're not going to fall over <laughs> and forwards and back and we have six more and five and four last two of these last one 
and then lift the leg on top, reach it long, 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 and lower the leg down. Okay, from here. Now this one is a little bit tricky to get into the position, but we're gonna give it a go. I'm gonna do a little bit of work for the front of the hip and the front of the leg. So, you're gonna place the front leg onto the circle, yep, and you're gonna come onto your forearms. Staying nice and strong with your upper body. Now again, you're gonna try and control the circle if you can. You're gonna press down, return, and press down, return. Keeping strong, as I said, with that upper body and focusing on that control. And we've got six more. You can choose what you do with your foot. Again, I quite like to point for these. Activating those muscles at the front of the leg. Last one. Let's do two more for fun. One more. Beautiful. <laughs> Seemed worth doing a few extra as it took so long to get into position. Okay, let's see if we can do the other side. Same thing. A little bit. Yep. Okay. And again, you're going to can try and control that bounce. I'm just going to sli slide it back a little bit. That's better. And from here, press down, release. Press, release. Just double check you're not sinking through your shoulders. Stay lifted. So you're working all the front muscles of the body, actually, not just the leg. And let's go four more. And three. Two. Last one. And you can let that circle go. Okay, from here, we're gonna come into a plank position and we're gonna use our circle just for a little bit of extra support. So the circle is gonna go right in the middle of your chest. And it'll help to give you a little bit of support for your push-up and plank. Now, if you're really tall, you might wanna put a little bit of a folded tail underneath your circle if you don't feel you're getting any support from it whatsoever, okay? So, in our plank position, you're gonna bend your elbows for a push-up and then come back up. And then we're gonna do a little walk with the legs. In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Beautiful, push-ups. We're gonna do two push-ups. Now, other leg first, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Two push-ups, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and walk. In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Let's go for the push-ups. Now, try and keep your head in line. The circle helps, actually. And the walks. We've got two more sets. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, and walk. Again, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, walk. And now we're gonna hold our plank for 10. Nine, nice and strong. Eight, head in line. Seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, and carefully down. From here, you're gonna have a little stretch back. And then we're gonna finish off with a nice spine stretch forwards. So you're gonna come into a seated position. Again, you can sit on your cushion if you prefer. Legs straight if you can, but if you feel really uncomfortable, then do bend your knees, okay? I'm gonna keep my legs straight. Uh, make sure you're on your sit bones. From here, we're gonna rise the circle up. Take an inhale. Exhale as you flex forward. So you're gonna get hopefully a good stretch here through your back, through the back of the legs. Inhale as you come back up. Now, halo, open up your chest. And inhale to return. 
flexing forwards. Stacking up and halo. Oh, I think sternum to ceiling as you do this. And return and stretch forwards. Long flexion forwards, reaching over your toes if you can. Stacking up and open up the chest. Press the circle a little. Inhale to return. Let's do two more. Coming up, halo. And last one. Go for that halo. And return. And we've finished for today, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the workout. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I hope to see you again.